Have you ever pondered the profound significance behind why Jesus had to meet Moses and Elijah at the Mount of Transfiguration? This event, a cornerstone of the Christian faith, is not simply one of many tales found within the biblical narratives. It is nestled in the Gospel accounts of Matthew, Mark and Luke, where it serves as a focal point, a junction of the past, present and future. Far beyond being a mere historical occurrence, it is a juncture invested with dense spiritual significance and profound prophetic symbolism. The setting of this monumental event is a high mountain peak away from the swaying opinions of the crowds. Here, removed from distraction and interruption, a transformative event unfolds. Jesus, together with his closest confidants Peter, James and John, is encapsulated in a celestial scene. Suddenly, he begins to glow with an intense divine light, capturing all the magnificence and glory of the heavens. His clothes take on a radiant white hue, far surpassing any brilliance that earthly materials or substances could achieve. Emerging alongside Jesus, two figures of enormous relevance from the Old Testament make their entrance, Moses the lawgiver and Elijah. That the appearance of these two influential characters is not without intention. It carries weighty implications that penetrate the heart of Jewish and Christian theology. Moses, revered as the conveyor of God's law, and Elijah, esteemed as the voice of the prophets, together encompass the entirety of God's word to his people in the Old Testament. Their presence alongside Jesus signifies a monumental truth. This divine assembly, this meeting of the past and the present, symbolizes Jesus as the fulfillment of both the law and the prophets. This is a claim he himself endorsed and emphasized in Matthew's Gospel when he declared, Do not think that I have come to abolish the law or the prophets. I have not come to abolish them, but to fulfill them. The significance of this statement is monumental in understanding the mission and purpose of Jesus. As the disciples watch, awestruck by the divine revelation unfolding before their eyes, a bright cloud descends and enfolds them. A voice resonates from within this cloud, the voice of God the Father, asserting, This is my Son whom I love. With Him I am well pleased. This divine validation places Jesus at the center of God's redemptive plan and underscores His unique identity as the beloved Son of God. The Transfiguration, an event of immense significance and profound impact, is a foretaste of the glory and majesty of Jesus. This captivating moment gives us a tantalizing glimpse of His divine nature before His ultimate sacrifice on the cross. It offers a window into the divine realm, an extraordinary preview of His heavenly glory. The Transfiguration serves as a bridge, connecting the earthly realm with the celestial kingdom, giving the disciples and us a breathtaking view of what lies beyond our mortal existence. In this divine revelation, there is a powerful affirmation of Jesus' mission and His divinity. It's then just a symbolic representation. It's a divine proclamation, a celestial announcement of His divine character. It's an assertion that transcends time and space, an eternal testament to His divine nature and purpose. This affirmation is not just about recognizing as divine, but also about understanding the magnitude of His mission. The presence of Moses and Elijah during the Transfiguration is no coincidence. Their presence attests to the continuity of God's plan, from the Law and the Prophets to the fulfillment in Jesus Christ. Moses the Lawgiver and Elijah the Prophet, both significant figures in Jewish history, represent God's promise and prophecy. Their presence signifies the unity of God's plan, the cohesion of His message, delivering the testament of Jesus' role in the divine plan. This divine meeting connects the past with the future, Old Testament with the New. Their conversation with Jesus Christ on the mountaintop hints at a grand cosmic plan, a divine design that has been in motion since the beginning of time. This instance is a reminder that Jesus is not just a part of God's plan, but He is the plan itself. In this moment, the disciples are given a clear insight into Jesus' identity and His role in God's redemptive plan. They are granted a divine perspective, a heavenly clarity that goes beyond their human understanding, are being prepared, their hearts and minds being fortified for what lies ahead. This event strengthens their faith and prepares them for the challenging events that lie ahead. It serves as a spiritual armor, equipping them for the upcoming trials. They are being armed with divine knowledge that will guide them through Jesus' passion, crucifixion and resurrection. 
The experience of the transfiguration thus not only enlightens them about Jesus' divine nature, but also fortifies their faith to face the challenges that lie ahead. Jesus' passion, crucifixion and resurrection. As we conclude, let us take a moment to recapitulate and delve deeper into the significant points discussed. The event of the Transfiguration is a momentous occurrence in religious history that demands a closer look. It is an episode where we witness Jesus in his divine splendor, emanating a celestial light so captivating that it paints a vivid picture in our minds. This display of divine radiance shows us a side of Jesus that is often left unexplored, a glimpse into his heavenly form that serves to remind us of the power and beauty inherent in divinity. The event is not limited to this celestial vision though. We also see presence of Moses and Elijah, two of the most revered figures in religious history. Their appearance is not arbitrary. It carries rich symbolism. They symbolize Jesus' fulfillment of the law and the prophets, a task of immense magnitude. Their presence is a testament to Jesus' divine purpose and his role in fulfilling the prophecies laid down in the sacred texts. Their presence is a silent endorsement, a recognition of Jesus' divine role in the grand scheme of things. Then we encounter the voice of God the Father, a presence so grand and overarching that it instantly commands attention and respect. This is not just a simple endorsement, it is an affirmation of Jesus' unique identity as God's beloved Son. It's a confirmation of His divine mission, a solid backing of His irreplaceable role in the narrative of divinity. Hearing the voice of God the Father acknowledging Jesus as his beloved son adds a level of authenticity to Jesus' divine role, making it unquestionable and undeniable. The event at the Mount of Transfiguration is not just a divine meeting. It is a profound message of hope and redemption in its purest form. It serves as a constant reminder that Jesus is the fulfillment of God's divine plan, the physical manifestation of the law and the prophets, and the cherished Son of God. This significant event imparts a wealth of wisdom and understanding, deepening our comprehension of who Jesus truly is and his indispensable role in the divine narrative. This event does more than just add a profound layer to our faith. It reshapes our understanding, refines our beliefs and redefines our perception of divinity. It enriches our faith, making it stronger, deeper and more resilient. It serves as a constant reminder of the beauty and complexity of our faith the depth of our beliefs and the richness of our spiritual journey. It's a reminder that Jesus is the fulfillment of God's plan, the embodiment of the law and the prophets and the beloved Son of God. This event deepens our understanding of who Jesus is and his role in the divine narrative, adding a profound layer to our faith.